This is the a picture of the design I found on the internet, kind of started my idea. A couple of things you'll notice. You'll notice the length of the hitch portion that there has to be to run the three-point hitch part of it. Uh, that makes it stick out a lot further than what I really wanted and what my design ended up with. You'll also see here's the three-point hitch part of it that I've cut off of mine, again, uh, to simplify storage. And this is another shot of the same thing with the blade up. Again, notice how far this has to stick out uh, behind the vehicle in order to get the pull for the three-point hitch. Uh, those were two things I was trying to eliminate, both this length so it's not sticking out so far behind the vehicle, both for safety and for uh, the further back it sticks out, the more weight that's actually on the hitch. And then also to eliminate this three-point hitch part of it uh, for storage, which I'll show a little later. This is one of the keys to my design. Um, storage was going to be a real issue for me. What do I do with this thing when I'm not using it? And so by cutting the top part of the three-point hitch off, it will roll up, again using my set of casters, just rolls right up against the back wall of the storage unit. And you can see there's just a few pieces of cardboard there. Um, then you can back the car right up to it. So it's only sticking out from the wall just about six inches or so here, seven inches. So for a storage, my design I think works much, much better. The rest of the unit just stacks over here in the corner and it can stay there all summer long until I need it in the fall again. Again, uh, takes up very, very little room. It's not very tall, so the car can just back right over it and it's a piece of cake to store. The winch that I have is like this uh, off of this quad, which is, uh, has a very small motorcycle battery in it, so it has uh, constant magnets on it that draw less power, therefore I'm able to run it off the battery box. Uh, plenty of power to raise and lower the blade many, many times, uh, just like on this quad. This is another item that, that's unique about my application. Not only will it fit on any vehicle with a trailer hitch, but instead of running heavy wire, uh, 6 or 8 gauge, all the way from the front of the truck, um, I power mine off of one of these jumper battery boxes. Uh, we used one of those at the dealership on cold Iowa winters. We'd sometimes go out and start 20 or 25 cars off of it. Uh, of course, the winch that I purchased is off of an ATV, which has a small motorcycle battery in it, so this thing has plenty of power for at least what I do. You're not going to plow all day with it, but um, to keep the driveway clear and keep the alley clear, that type of thing, uh, just put that in the back of any pickup or SUV and hook up the electrical, and you're ready to go. This is the piece that took the most time to design and build. Again, slides right into the trailer hitch, and uh, these pins uh, hook up to the three-point hitch, and uh, I'll show some more, but this piece was kind of important because I cut the top of the three-point hitch off, uh, kind of build off of here to make the unit work, but yet also be easy to store. This is the upright piece that I built that drops in to the part that's in the trailer hitch. Uh, the winch is inside this box just to give it a little bit of protection uh, from flying snow, that type of thing. And then comes up and there's a pulley on the top. That's actually where we get the lift from since we removed the top of the three-point hitch. Now I've rotated it to the pulling position. That's how I intend to do most of my plowing. And of course you have to do it manually, but um, you can just turn the blade either way so that the snow discharges. And, and that's, again, my intention is to do most of my plowing going forward. Um, by raising 
I, I measured this out by raising the blade all the way up. I have just enough room to rotate this blade 180 degrees. And that was kind of a critical thing too. Um, so that I could move it to push or pull uh, while I was out plowing. Another thing that I bought that I don't know I'm going to need it to snow plow, but it's been real handy um, keeping an eye on trailers as I'm going down the road and such, is an, what's called an eyeball camera. And this camera is just magnetic. Just stick it on wherever, and of course it's an adjustable base. It has a 9-volt battery in it that transmits a signal up to the cab and the receiver just plugs in the cigarette lighter and it's adjustable up and down and uh, like I said don't know that that's going to be needed but that way I can kind of keep an eye on what's going on back there. One other thing that I added um, not that it's probably going to big be a big deal or that I'm ever going to need it but should I ever um, I guess the winch go out or the power go out I can always take a cable come along and hook it on to the hitch down here I put this little channel up on top that I can run a cable over and it'll stay there and then down to the pickup point you can always use a cable come along to lift it if ever I would lose power or if I'm gonna transport it a long ways I could put a chain over that area and down to the bottom just so I've got a little something besides the uh, cable and winch to hold it. I spoke earlier when I showed you the pictures of the design I found that I based this off of. That frame stuck out probably two feet, 30 inches, something like that. My design, this only sticks out a little over a foot, 14 inches, something like that. That makes it both safer because the thing's not hanging out there uh, as far from a safety standpoint. And also, the further you hang it out there, the more weight you've got on your hitch. Um, I've now removed the blade from the truck, and I've got my little dollies set up. And basically, you just lean on, tilt it back a little bit, kick those under there, and then you can tip it up, and it's ready to roll back into the corner if I can get this moved for storage and once it's in the right spot you just tip it back up and right now I keep this stored in my carport and I can just back the truck right up to it and store the vehicle and then when I'm ready to install it just pull the vehicle head put the frame in and roll it right up to it. So that's my take on the design. Uh, I think it's a, a good deal and works out perfect for what I need. Hope it helps.